Heath and Ridley, and the ball game underway, the opening tip controlled by Canisius. Remember, Michael Glover used to win every tip to open up a game. Now, Harold Washington wide open for three and drains it. I don't know who was supposed to guard Washington, but nobody was. And Iona, with that mistake on defense, down 3-0 early. Nobody within a block of him. Here's Ridley, top of the arc, hands to Sean Amon. Of course, capable of answering back with a three-point shot of his own, but instead he goes to David Lowry. Lowry spins, takes Manhurts down low with the left hand, off the rim, no good, and Manhurts got the rebound. Great move by Lowry, but again, he couldn't finish, and the ball in the hands of Billy Barron. Barron across the midcourt line, and Iona in a 2-3. Washington along the right, top of the key to Heath. Now to Barron, left of the key, open on the left side, Sosa for three, rimmed in and out, and Lowry with a nice rebound taking it away from Manhurts, and here come the Gales. Almost stolen, another bad pass by Lowry. Momo Jones, right angle, three for the tie, hit the front rim and would not go in, and Manhurts got the rebound, and here's Washington. Just over a minute gone by, still 3-0 in favor of the Golden Grips. Washington, middle, Barron, pushes right side, Sosa. Bounce pass down low as Heath goes back outside. Sosa with the left hand will drive by Armand, and Shaw got a piece of it and the block. Nice play by Sean Amon, brings up for Iona. Down the right side, puts on the afterburners. Behind the back pass to Larry, who puts it home. Can't play any better than Amon did. Beautiful defensive play with a block on one end. The behind the back pass for the basket for Lowry on the other end. First basket for Iona. Now they lead to midcourt. Sosa further ahead on the left side to Washington. Driving on Lowry underneath the basket. Missed by Sosa. Follow up put home by Heath. Jordan Heath with the putback to make it 5-2. Here's Momo Jones firing a pass through the hands of Taj Ridley who probably was not quite ready for that fireball by Momo Jones, and it's an Iona turnover. Good transition defensive by Kadishas, too. Now a steal taken off by Momo Jones. Momo will drive, put it up and in. Oh, what a great play. Anticipation like a defensive back in football by Momo Jones, his first basket of the afternoon, and now an Iona foul on Momo Jones right in front of the bench. Yeah, Manhurst telegraphed that pass along the far sidelines next to the Kadishas bench, and Jones saw that easily. And the pass had to go almost three quarters of the way across the court. So Jones had plenty of time to get there. First foul against Iona. It is 5-4 in favor of Canisius. Just over two minutes gone by. As Washington will inbound. And Gomez is in for Sledge. Interesting change in the lineup of the Gales. Two minutes in. In the backcourt, Sosa will bring up for Canisius. Across the midcourt line. Now works into the forecourt. As he's setting a pick at the high post, they go to Washington instead on the angle. And stolen by David Lowry. Lowry ahead of the field will dunk it home. So the Gales with back-to-back -back steals and baskets. Out most, of the man to man. Most energy we've seen from Lowry in a while. And Iona with their first lead, 6-5. Uh, another near steal at midcourt. But Sosa able to get it back for Momo Jones. Sosa with a foul line jumper. No good. Rebound by David Lowry, who looks really good. Here's Gomez down that left side with speed. Pushes a pass on the right to Momo Jones. Loop back in the middle to Gomez. Gomez travels left but can't turn the corner. Back to Momo Jones, right side, Ridley will take Heath down low, off balance, scores with the right hand. Nice job by Ridley, had to go high off the glass to beat the taller Heath with a shot. And the Gales have rattled off six in a row, it's 8-5, just over three minutes gone by as Sosa along the left, fires in the middle to Billy Barron. Barron is marked there by Sean Armand, left elbow, foul line jumper, Barron rimmed in and out, rebound, batted up high in the air and Iona has it. Armand, further right, Momo, Momo now sets three, good. Little head fake, he got Barron to back up, and James trained it. Boy, the Gales are on a roll here, Gary, nine unanswered points. It's 11-5 Iona, three and a half gone by as Barron looping a pass across the midcourt line, and it's in the hands of Harold Washington. Gales have gone, gotten out of the 2-3, now gone into a man. 11-5 Iona, Washington right angle three over Momo, side rim, no, man hurts with the rebound, gets it back, straight on three, Sosa, that wouldn't go again. Heath out battles Ridley, but now Ridley comes down with the ball for the Gales. Taj Ridley bounced past Lowry with two buckets already. Backing in, leaning in, and what's the call? It's going to be a travel against Iona. Yeah, should have kicked it back out, Lowry. Really had no place to go. But we have immediate timeout, and Iona off to a good start after trailing 5-2. to two. They have scored nine.
in your last two games, but certainly he comes out with a lot of fire today, Gary. Got a score at, uh, at the half at Fairfield. Niagara leading Fairfield by four, 37-33. Three other games in the MAC. Loyola Ryder just underway. Marist Manhattan, same thing. And St. Peter's at Siena this afternoon. Here Iona leads 11-5. It is Kinesis ball. Billy Barron right of the key. Goes to Heath. Foul line jumper. Good. That is the brother of Jordan Heath. That is Josiah Heath. And he got the jumper to break the 9-0 run for Iona. So it's 11-7. Here's Gomez. Sees an opening. Driving in the lane. Gives to Lowry. Goes up strong and had a shot rejected. Taken back by Ridley. Foul line popped. No good. Rebound batted out. Ridley again for Iona. Momo Jones says, let me try. Heath doesn't fire either. And Lowry couldn't hang on to the offensive rebound that time. And it goes out of bounds. So Iona with three straight cracks at the basket, but they couldn't get it to fall. Well, I'm seeing the gas much quicker to the basketball right now than Canisius. 11-7, Iona up by four. Sosa in the backcourt will carry along the right sideline, puts it behind his back, and we had a foul on Momo Jones, and that's going to be two on Momo. And Iona wanted a push-off on the play, but instead it's a big call early in this game. Iona's star player with two fouls, not even five minutes into the game. No, right, right in front of Tim Cruz, too. Cruz, of course, argued the other way. But Momo's not the type of player to pick up fouls, so he can play for a while longer as opposed to a big man. Reggie Groves in the game. It is Groves with the ball left of the key. Iona with a four-point lead, guarded by Sean Armand, picked there by Heath, cuts in the middle, ends up on Armand, shoots over him. The jumper, no good. Ridley leaping high for the rebound for Iona. And hands to Momo Jones, and Momo into the forecourt along the right. Crossover dribble with help from a pick by Ridley. Now he feeds Ridley, shovels right Armand, three, no good, and it hit the shot clock on the high rebound. So give it back to the Golden Grips. Well, that's where Armand likes to shoot from the wing, the quick release, defender in his face, tough shot, missed him. Iona's gone cold a little bit here, last couple of shots after a 9-0 run. Score remains 11-7 as Billy Barron, double team, fires up ahead to Heath. This is Josiah Heath, now to Reggie Groves, just inside the midcourt line. Iona stays 2-3, Groves cutting to the right, now he's picked up by Gomez. Cross court to Washington, Washington puts it on the floor, 10 on the clock. All on the perimeter, Barron hoisting a long three, that's off the mark, but the rebound tipped outside. Barron gets it back, tries another three, and that time connects. So, Canisius has cut the lead to one, and now Barron with the steal for the Golden Griffs. Barron underneath the Heath drives and dunks it home. No basket, however. It was a foul on the floor before the shot. So the Gales all of a sudden unraveling a little bit here in the early going as we have both teams on a run. Tavon Sledge will come back in as uh, Tim Cruz gives him some uh, final instructions. Sledge that will rejoin the lineup as Gomez goes out. Basket will count, by the way. Okay. It was a continuation, and Lowry with the late foul. And all of a sudden, Canisius with a 7-0 run. They have grabbed the lead now at 12-11, and now Heath will try a free throw. As Tim Cruz making a change, Momo Jones does come out with those two fouls and Trey Bowman in the game. So Iona has given away the lead, and now Momo Jones will sit for a little bit on the bench with two fouls. Lowry picked up his first, and Iona with three team fouls, all three fouls called in this game against Iona. Free throw by Heath, he rolls it home, and he's come off the bench and has five points, and Canisius leads by two. And the only average is Heath, three points a game. Now Tavon Sledge beating the pressure. Armand, right corner, three, good. Didn't close on Armand, gave him the shot. He said, thank you very much. He has right. the second try of the game. Nice setup by Sledge. Iona leads by one again, 14-13. As Reggie Groves along the right, cuts in the middle, just back of the free throw line, will retreat on Trey Bowman. Iona now in a man-to-man -man set. Groves open Heath, but he won't shoot from there. Hands back to Groves, back of the arc, will drive on Bowman, right elbow gives to a driving Barron, and Barron called for traveling. That all set up by the Gales double teaming the ball. When the pass is made, they double team the ball handler. So the Gales get it back. They're up by one, nearing the 13 minute mark in the game. As Tavon Sledge will bring it up across the midcourt line, double high post, Armand Lowry. Sledge carries around a pick from Lowry, goes to Armand, right angle three. He's hit two in a row. That time, Gary, in movement on an angle. What a tough shot that was, moving right to left. Side saddle, lets it fly, and hits it. So Sean Armand with a couple of threes, and that's a benchmark for him, isn't it? Yeah, he's got his uh, 200th of his career, 201st, actually. 
pretty good. Here's yep. Heath up top, left angle. Washington faking right, going left, driving on Sean. Put it up no good, but Armand got called for the fourth Iona foul. Tim Cruz looking at the scoreboard and letting out a little air. Like, you know, when you get frustrated, a little, you breathe out hard. He's, he's uh, Tim Cruz upset about the calls on fouls. Maybe not necessarily where the officials are calling the game, but the fact that his star players are getting a little bit of foul trouble. Jones on the bench for two. Amon picks up his first. Harold Washington, first free throw is no good. Off the rim, 79% shooter. He opened up the scoring just seconds into the game. And now Manhurts comes out of the game and Jordan Heath back in. So the two brothers playing together, Jordan and Josiah. And they look alike too. They well, do have different numbers. Yeah, that's, that's helpful. <laughs> the second free throw by Washington is good, and Iona's lead at three. It is 17-14. But man hurts out, though. They lose their best rebound at the moment, Canisius. Here's Ridley and Sledge exchanging passes. 2-3 zone now for Canisius. Trey Bowman hands to Armand. Has hit two threes in a row. Tries for three in a row. That one coming up short, but Lowry gobbles in the rebound for Iona. New shot clock for the Gales, and David Lowry's been very active early. Well, they got to get him more involved in the offense, so it looks like he's ready to make some moves. Give him the ball. Feed the big fella. Here's Armand. Goes to Ridley. Ridley puts it on the floor on the weave. Goes to Bowman. Bowman now to Armand. Not shooting that time at the free throw line. He'll shoot a two and hit it. That's a shot he didn't have last year. The penetrate pull-up jumper from 15 feet. Armand has eight in a row. And Iona has opened up a five-point lead, 19-14. Harold Washington working on sledge over Ridley scores. Nice move by Washington. So Armand carrying the offense with Jones on the bench. Tim Cruz says, hurry up, let's get the ball in the forecourt. 19-16, Tavon with it, met there by one of the Heathers. That was Jordan. Now Armand goes to Lowry, knocked away by Jordan Heath, and the steal is made by Harold Washington. Iona with a three-point lead. They fired a Barron, but too high and too wide, and out of bounds at the Iona bench to another timeout we go. 11-21 first half, it's Iona 19, Kanisha 16 on I In terms of touches, it limits his scoring and his ability to dish the ball off. Fewer times he has the ball, better chance the Gales have him winning. Diggs McCoyboo getting some playing time now for Iona as Tavon Sledge along the right. Lowry wants the ball, doesn't get it. Nice crossover dribble by Sledge and then kick out Armand. Three. Oh, is that a pretty play by Sledge and then Armand finishing with his third three of the afternoon. And Reggie Groves is hanging all over Armand when he knocked that in and Armand scored the last 10 points for the Gales. 22-16, Sosa, cross lane loop, Groves, three over Lowry, that'll be short. Rebound run down by Lowry, but he gives it away as he tried to save and Groves made him pay with the driving lay-in. So Groves putting uh, Canisius right back on the board. On the other end, Trey Bowman attacks the rim and is fouled. And as Tim Kloos will say, about time, nearly 10 minutes in, that is the first foul of the afternoon against Canisius, called against Josiah Heath, and will lead to free throws for Trey Bowman. Well, it caught Canisius off bounds. They scored a quick basket down here. They didn't get back in transition defense quickly enough after a made basket. And Bowman took advantage of it. He's a very good free throw shooter. Makes the first one. And Momo Jones with two fouls. 10.38 to go in the first half. Standing by to check in. Trey Bowman, uh, let's see, he is 87%. Was at 90, but um, when his playing time dipped. Well, see if he makes this. He's he back does. at 90. He's back at 90. So two free throws by Bowman. Bowman back to the bench. And Momo back in with those two fouls. Iona leads by six, 24 to 18, 10.35 to go, as Barron will bring up against a little pressure for Iona in the backcourt. Sosa not across the midcourt line yet. Now he is with a bounce pass to Jordan Heath. Heath double teamed, able to get it in the hands of Billy Barron, returns to Heath, drives and dunks it home. Nice, nice give and go by Barron and Heath. Yeah, that's the old pick and roll play. That's what Canisius likes to run. So the Heath brothers have combined for nine of Canisius' 20 points. And they don't normally do all that much scoring. Here's Armand, gets a pick from Lowry, has to retreat. Ridley about to check back in. Now McCoyble hands to Armand for three. That'll be short. 
crazy rebound, and McCoyboo got a piece of it, and I think it'll still be Iona Ball. Now Lowry sits down as Ridley back in, and it is Gail Ball. So credit McCoyboo for knocking the ball off the Canisius defender. Gales by four, good one, exactly 10 minutes to go. Iona fires underneath the basket, here's Ridley, he drew the foul on the play, and Taj Ridley will get to the free throw line for a couple. All set up by a beautiful pass by Sledge. Sledge under the basket, double team. Ridley comes down the lane, Sledge gives him a little bounce pass, Ridley draws the free throws, and Ridley's a much improved free throw shooter this year too, Gary. 76% for Taj Ridley, free throw is good. So Iona with only three free throws, but they have made all three. And the Gales continue to lead at 25 to 20. 9.57, Iona looking for their fifth straight win, 11th of the season. And that one comes up short by Ridley. So he made one of two. Billy Barron got the rebound. And Barron will work on Tavon Sledge. Give and go with Sosa. Here's Barron off the run of three. Good. Bottom of the net. Their kind of play, the give and go. Nice job by Barron once he gets squared up at that open shot. He is deadly. Three-point game again, 25-22. Tavon Sledge having trouble with the dribble. Almost lost it to Barron, but now Sledge controls between the circles. Double high post, Ridley and McCoy Boo. Sean Armand with it, fakes a pass left, dribbles to the right, 15 on the clock. Ridley back up top, backs away from Heath. Now only 10 on the clock, and here's Tavon. Tavon with eight, driving through the lane. Kick off to Ridley, three on the way, side rim, no. Battle for the rebound and a foul against Iona going for the rebound. Not the shot you wanted from Ridley, three point range. Trey Bowman back in replacing Diggs McCoyboo as Canisius will get the ball down by only three. Gales were pressed. They had some success early in the game, stealing the ball from Canisius. About to hit the nine minute mark. Groves goes up ahead to Harold Washington and Washington into the forecourt to Groves looking back at the Canisius bench. First year head coach, Jim Barron. Groves in front of the Iona bench. Third year coach, Tim Kloos. 15 on the clock, looping pass to an open Sosa. Fires from three to tie the game. That's not the shot you want to give Sosa. 25 apiece now, Momo Jones back in, off the run, hesitation jumper, no. Rebound by Manhurts, and here comes Washington. Left side goes to Groves, double teamed in the corner, almost lost to Armand, and then it's an offensive foul called against uh, Groves as Amon. he pushed off on Sean Amon. Amon takes a shot just above the, uh, the belly. He takes a lot of hits too, like Momo Jones, but nice play by Amon. Helped out by Jones in that double team. Got him in the corner, fourth the turnover. Foul by Groves, team foul number three. As Iona brings up, we're dead even now with 25 apiece. 8.25 to go first half as Tavon Sledge between the circles. Bounce on the high post. It goes to Armand. Now to Momo Jones. Dipping the right shoulder. Drives. Flip it up short. And the rebound pulled off by Manhurts. And here's Washington again. Sauntering down that right side. Middle to Groves. Fires. Corner. Sosa three. And the lead. Good. Man, he can knock that thing down like Armand. Can he in the crowd? Tim Kloos not happy. Is they get a timeout? Four three-pointers now for Canisius as they have grabbed the lead back over Iona. 28. The shot's a little short. Uh, almost struggled a little bit on the offensive end. The Gales need for him to get going, and he's off so, such a good second-half player, too, Bobo Jones. So Iona down by three. Tavon Sledge goes to Sean Armand. He's got 11 points for Iona. Gives to Trey Bowman. Dribbles to the right elbow, and now Ridley, as this weave offense, ends up with a three by Armand. No good. Tip by Bowman around at home. Trey Bowman knocking home the missed shot by Sean Armand. And nobody blocked Bowman out. He had the inside position, nobody there. And Iona down by one, it's 28 to 27. Washington in front of the Iona bench, picked by Manhurts, bumped into by Ridley, and that's another ticky-tack foul. Boy, they're calling it very close. Jeff Anderson making the call against Ridley. It was just a little bump. Gales, a nine-point run early to take a nice lead, but back came Canisius with eight straight, then the Gales seven in a row, and Canisius with eight in a row. We have a one-point game with Canisius over Iona, 
Seven and 19 to go. It is Kinesha's ball. Man Hurts goes to Washington. Nice fake. Opens himself up for a jumper, but missed it to the left. And Momo Jones sends Tavon Sledge away. Right side, Bowman open three. No. And Man Hurts gobbles in the rebound over both Lowry and Armand. Kinesha still leads by one point. Seven minutes to play. Momo Jones near steal. Barron picks up the loose ball, however, and fires a three from deep on that right wing. And that's the second for Billy Barron. And Kinesha's leads by four. 31-27. So again, Iona trailing in this game. They have had three straight second half comeback wins. Sledge rejected by Manhurts. Taken off by Barron. Three on two. Open man Washington attacks the hoop. Dumps off to Heath who puts it home. So now they're playing with a lot of confidence. Kinesis. And Kinesis adding to their lead. It's now a game high six. 33-27. Momo Jones faking the give and go, takes it himself, missed it. Lowry follow up his third basket. Nice job, Lowry came in right behind Jones on the right side. Nobody blocked him out with a right hand, he tipped it in. 33-29 nearing the six minute mark as Barron will bring up with the left hand. Goes against Tavon Sledge, dribbles around Manhurt, Sledge follows. Now open Heath takes a three, the big guy, and hits it. Jordan Heath. At 6-10, makes it 36-29. Everybody shoots threes on this team, but man hurts. Seven-point lead, Sean Armand, one-on-one on Hurts, tries to go back door, does. Lowry underneath the basket, reverse layup, goal 10. Credit the basket as it was deflected off the glass by Heath, so Lowry with his fourth basket, eight points. And, and listen, the perseverance of Lowry paid off there. So the Gales have to find a way to slow down Kanisha's three-point shooting. On the outside, they really get contested shots better. I detect that perhaps A.J. English in a little bit of the doghouse. Yes, he is. With Tim <laughs> Close, because he's just now coming off the bench, as we've seen McCoy Boo already, and we've seen Trey Bowman. Now driving hard is uh, Washington, and he draws the foul. So Harold Washington will get to the free throw line after the second foul by David Lowry. So both Lowry and Momo Jones with two personal fouls. Well, you see how this game has changed. Early on, the Gales were disrupting Canisius by making steals. Canisius couldn't get in the flow. Right now, Canisius offensively able to do a lot of things unimpeded. Washington from the free throw line, first one is good. He's got seven. Great balance for Canisius so far in this game. We've got nine for Jordan Heath, seven for Washington, six for Barron, six for Sosa, and five for Josiah Heath. So they have balanced the scoring very nicely, and they lead 37-31, free throw good, 38-31. Have a lot of options, this Canisius team, and the Gales, a little bit of trouble here, but it's only the first half. And as we saw the other night, Iona capable of scoring 13 straight points in two minutes. Well, the defense has got to step up for Iona right now. We see a 1-3-1 being played by Canisius. Momo Jones, Armand, corner, Trey Bowman faking a three, drives closer, feeds back outside Armand for the three. No, long rebound, gobbled in by Washington. Here comes Washington to Barron underneath the basket. Sosa in the corner, three, no, rebound. Asprilla missed it, and finally Armand gets it back for Iona. Gales down by seven, Sean Amon, Bowman with the ball fake, jump skip in the lane, then out. Momo decided against the three, Ridley sets the screen instead. Momo goes in the middle, Bowman straight on, three ball good. Nice, the Gales needed that, because right now Momo Jones is being shut down by Kinesis. And Bowman now with seven points, Iona cuts to within four. 38-34, Washington Barron, the runner, good from the free throw line. Too easy, too easy, wide open. And it's 40-34, 4.20 to go in the first half. And Tim Clouse continues to talk to Jeffrey Anderson as Armand along the right sideline whips a pass in the corner. A.J. English, oh, in tough out. luck in and out. Rebound taken away by Ridley. Ridley attacks a Sprilla, goes baseline. Bowman lays it in. Nice catch by Bowman on a Ridley pass with hard to handle. Bowman picked it up and laid it in. Good play by Trey Bowman. Iona down by four again, 40 to 36, under four minutes to play. As Barron will bring up, gets a pick from Heath, goes in the corner. Three, Washington, can it? Harold to Washington, he's got 11. And the lead is seven. They continue to run up and down the court. Momo Jones, three-pointer, no good. Tipped by Armand, good, and a foul on the play. Well, it's turning again in the adding machine here. We go back and forth. Uh, where's the de- Has anybody seen the defense lately? <laughs> on either side. I love doing these games. <laughs>
player getting fouled and then able to tip it home and have it count. Sean Armand with a great game going, 13 points, 78% free throw shooter. It is good, and Iona climbs to within four again. 43-39, full court pressure. They feed to nearly midcourt to Heath, and now back in the hands of Harold Washington. Washington with 11 points, goes to the point guard Barron, working on A.J. English. Long the left, now cuts in the middle around a double screen, ends up on the right elbow, shoots over Ridley, short, almost went in on a funny bounce, but as Frilla gets the rebound. Washington, second try for Canisius, the hard bank good by Harold Washington. Able to drive, Washington, a good slasher. 45-39, 45-39, Armand behind the back pass goes to Bowman. Right angle three for Iona, no good. Rebound by Esprilla. Gets it over Ridley, and here is Washington. Six-point lead, three to play. In the middle, Billy Barron picked by Esprilla. Barron on the right elbow, penetrates off the glass. No, tip wouldn't go. Rebound loose on the floor. Tavon Sledge for Iona. English on the left, Armand on the right. alley play, too fancy but recovered by Bowman, who scores and gets fouled on a broken play as Armand got bailed out after a too fancy alley-oop attempt. Well, Trey Bowman's gonna see a lot of action here in the second half, he keeps playing this way. He's getting it done by just running the floor, showing a lot of energy, being involved. That time he picked up the loose change, laid it in with the left hand, and Trey Bowman on a run here, Gary, that really has kind of rescued the Gales with Bobo Jones struggling with fouls and not playing that well. Uh, They needed somebody else to step up. Trey Bowman's the guy stepping up. Free throw good by Bowman. 12 points for Trey Bowman. Only behind Sean Armand and Iona down by three again. 45-42. All these 50-point games at the half. That's what this will be. Here's Heath handing to Billy Barron across the midcourt line. Curtis Dennis in the game. Barron with a great pass. Manhurt scores underneath the basket set up by Barron. Well, Barron can do it all. That was a half court. A beautiful hook pass to Manhurt's right side of the basket. Laid it in. Tavon Sledge, Iona down by five. Sledge gives to Dennis. On the weave, it's Bowman, penetrates the lane. Hands off Ridley, scores on the setup by Bowman. Nice job by Bowman on the penetration. Beat the defender. Weak side came to help. Ridley was open, gave it to him. 47-44, still just over two minutes to play. Oh, near giveaway for Iona, but they called a foul from behind as uh, it was knocked out of Washington's hand. But they called a foul on Curtis Dennis. So Tim Klutz has really gone deep into the bench in this game, Gary. He about played everybody he normally plays in a game. Trying to find a combination, I think, looking for a little more defense. There have been many final scorers in the country of 47-44. And we've got two minutes to go in the half as Washington made the front end of a one and one. Washington with 14. So Tim Klutz, no doubt at halftime, will spend a lot of time trying to make adjustments to the defense, trying to find a defense that can stop Canisius. 48-44, one more free throw, Washington, in and out, and then a whistle, what's the call? Canisius players are clapping, it might have been a foul line violation, that's it. Lane violation, so Washington, who doesn't miss often, did there, but gets a reprieve. You don't want to give them too many second chances here. They're from the free throw line this year, Canisius came in shooting 72%. And indeed, Washington now five for five on the line, and 15 points, the lead back to five. Now two minutes to play. English goes to Tavon Sledge, right side Curtis Dennis for Iona. Lowry on the bench, Momo Jones on the bench, and Iona down by five with 20 on the shot clock. Sledge bounce pass to Dennis. Return to Tavon, front of Jim Barron on the Canisius bench. Tavon bounce pass back to Dennis, will try a three. No good, Manhurts gets the rebound for the Golden Griffs. 2-3 zone that time by Canisius. Minute 35 to go, Washington into the forecourt. And for a t- change, neither team running. Iona did not on their last possession. And Canisius playing slow down here. Groves bounce pass Manhurts in the lane to Heath. Runs over his man, offensive foul. That's well, Justin Heath, Jordan Heath with the second foul. And the guy that picks up a lot of charges is, is Mr. Ridley. Taj Ridley picked up that one. Gail's very good at that, among the leaders in the country at drawing charges, Gary. Armand back in the game, replacing Curtis Dennis. A minute 19 to go, Iona down by five. Right here at the end of the first half, 49-44. Sledge 
cross court Ridley. Back in the middle, Sledge. Now Armand wants the ball. Sledge on the angle. Armand faking the three, driving closer. 17 footer, back rim, no good. But another rebound by Trey Bowman for Iona. Looking like he did at the beginning of the year when he was so impressive. Javon Sledge for Iona. Penetrates the lane outside Bowman for three. No good. Rebound over the head of Ridley and Manhurts. And that leads to a timeout with 49 seconds to go. Canisius with a timeout and the ball looking to build on a five point lead. Well, as Tim Clue said before the game, Take it to the rib. He's the real deal, Billy Barrett. And Billy Barrett has got the ball. 45 seconds to play. 15 second differential on the shot clock and the game clock. 49 to 44. Iona in danger of giving up 50 plus points in the first half. Barron in the middle now, 15 on the shot clock. Bounce pass, high post to Manhurts, turning towards the basket, guarded by Armand. 10 on the clock, Sosa with it, chased by Armand. Clock at seven, long three, Sosa. That'll be wide to the right side, and Bowman got the rebound for Iona. Tim Clue says play for one shot. Third rebound by Trey Bowman, 12 seconds to play, Iona down by five. Better get moving. Sledge goes left side, English back to Sledge. Seven seconds, penetration. Bowman, Armand, one more pass, another pass. Now Ridley for three, good! As time runs out, and Iona finally, first time all year, I believe, with the last possession of the half, scores on a half-ending shot by Trey Ridley, no less, his second three-pointer of the year. And all that, Iona down by two, 49 to 47. Well, that's the shot that <laughs> Coach Kluge used to talk to Ridley about earlier in the year. Don't take that shot, that's outside your range. Your range is 15 foot. But after he made one the other night, uh, Tim Twist kind of gave him the green light. Okay, if you got it open, take it. And that time, Saints going for two in a row, 23 to 12. Saints going for two in a row, 23 to 12. And also in the first half, Manhattan with a 13 point lead over Marist, 39 26. Second half underway, Iona from right to left, down by two. There's Momo. Carrying back of the arc, gives to Sean Amon. He goes cross court to Bowman, getting the start in the second half. Now Amon again, now to Momo Jones, 17 on the clock. Corner, Armand three, and the lead good by Iona. Sean Armand and the Gales have battled back from seven down, and they take the lead again at 50 to 49. Armand now four of nine from beyond the arc. 17 points, Billy Barron working on Momo Jones. Gales open up in a man-to-man. -man. Lowry not getting the start here in favor of Trey Bowman. It is Heath going cross court, Washington. Washington middle to Barron. Guarded by Bowman, hands up in the air. Barron now puts the ball on the floor, gets a pick from Heath, but does not advance. Eight on the clock, right elbow, crossover dribble, corner Sosa, down low, Heath fights his way through, the bank no good, tip wouldn't go, and the rebound taken off by Bowman. Momo Jones down that left side, Barron is back, Momo turns on the afterburners, outside to Bowman who gets called for traveling as he faked a three, so it is the fifth Iona turnover of the afternoon. I think they wanted Bowman not to dribble fake, but just put the ball up. He had the open shot and passed on it and tried to get closer. Just over a minute gone by, Iona with a one point lead. Gales four and one, part of a three way tie with Niagara and Loyola for first place in the MAC. as Manhurts gets called for the charge as he backed down and knocked over Ridley who takes his second charge of the afternoon. Yeah, Matt Hurts with a right shoulder, a hard right shoulder in the chest of Ridley, and he sold it well. He went down like he was hit with a hammer. First foul on Manhurts. Canisius went nearly 10 minutes in the first half before picking up a foul, and they picked one up here early in the second half. Good matchup is Barron guarding Jones now in man-to-man -man for Canisius. Tavon Sledge along the right for Iona now attacks the basket, gives to a driving Trey Bowman, whistle on the, oh, no whistle, thought I heard a whistle. It was knocked out of bounds as it rolled off the rim, but it's still Iona ball. Tough shot for Bowman, off balance, trying to lay it in over his left shoulder. Tough shot. Still Iona ball, new shot clock they get out of it as Sledge will inbound underneath the basket, looking, looking, bounces deep right corner, Momo Jones. Momo on Barron, up top to Bowman, and then back in the hands of Momo Jones. Jones now retreats near midcourt. 
23 still to work with. Tavon Sledge on the weave goes to Bowman. Sees an opening, goes through and foolishly tried to dunk it, missed it. Bowman got his own rebound, however, and was fouled. Trey Bowman could have easily laid that in. And he tried, I, I hate that, when you, when you make a, right. you know, a, try to make a spectacular move with emphasis dunking the ball, and, it, and look what happened the other night at Marist. But at least Bowman ends up on the free throw line. Well, I'll tell you what, the, obviously the coaches weren't happy, and all the players out there with Trey Bowman came over and said something to him. I'm not sure what they said. Some were encouragement, and some would say, just lay it in next time. Bowman makes the free throw, so he's getting his points anyway from the line. Four of four, and Iona has come out here and scored the first four points of the half. They lead by two. Bowman makes it three. All right, he makes amends. Now the Gales get a chance to get back in defense and set things up. But they're going to extend that defense. Gary got a 2-1-2. Two, two. Little pressure for Iona. Now they back up as Washington will bring up four of the golden clad. Golden Griffins from Buffalo, New York, Canisius College. It is Washington with the game high 15. Just dribbling idly. The tempo of this game is different in the first half. Spinning left of the key goes to Manhurts. Manhurts picked up two early fouls in this half. Ten on the shot clock. Barron picked by Manhurts. Barron top of the arc with eight and fires it all the way out the door practically over the head of I'm not even sure who that was intended for. I don't think it's either, but a good job by the Gales. They double team Barron and made him kick off the ball up. Time out. And his Is it, it really makes it an attractive team to watch. What team would you rather see in the Metropolitan area right now? Iona. They're excited to watch. They score. They have gross games. I mean, and they John's, play hard. I know, granted, Iona's not playing um, Georgetown, but St. John's had like 32 points <laughs> late in that game against Georgetown yesterday at the Garden. Armand, NBA 3. Wow. That's why you want to come see the Gales play. The Gales have opened up the second half by scoring the first eight points. And five three-pointers for Sean Armand. And that was practically at the end of the Iona bench where he shot where Tim Clues is. Foul line jumper Washington answering back. First points of the half for Canisius. It's 55-51. Iona ball. Trey Bowman along the right. Dribbles back up top. Fakes a handoff to Momo Jones. Goes to the left elbow and then circles more. Finally to Sledge. Sledge man-to-man -man, guarded by Sosa. Tavon puts it behind his back. Gives to Armand. Back of the arc. Tips it back to Sledge with 13 on the clock. Penetrates, and then the pass deflected out of bounds. Still eye on a ball, and the shot clock is down to 11. Well, the Harold Washington tried to get into the... If, if Amon had pockets in his pants, that's where you'd find Washington trying to guard him. Boy, he's up close. Iona inbounds. Here's Momo Jones. Ten on the clock. Picked by Ridley. Eight on the clock. Momo bounce pass to Ridley. Takes. Goes underneath for the dunk by Trey Bowman. Two more points and Bowman with 16. All set up by the pick and roll by the Gales. Jones and Ridley. Iona by six. Momo tried to take the charge. No call as he was run over by Bill Barron. Then the pass knocked away. Recovered by Canisius. They score on the broken play and an Iona foul. A big play there. Jones on the floor. Gave Canisius a five on four. Manhattan took advantage of it by laying it in and drawing the foul. Second basket by Manhurts. The foul on Trey Bowman. 57-53. Manhurts a 74% free throw shooter. He's a rebounder and he's got eight of those this afternoon. Not much of a scorer. No, guts his average though. He averaged about nine a game on the rebounds. Free throw by Manhurts. Good. Big three-point play. And it's 57-54. Trey Bowman along the left sideline. Little one-on-one -on -one move. Spins in the lane. Runs into Heath. and gets called for traveling. Bowman with the Iona turnover. And that's number six in the game. And we have our first media timeout of the second half. 15.58 to play. Iona. Team is starting to mature now. They went into Fairfield, knocked off the Stags, 67-64. to 64. And a second tough loss for Fairfield, losing in overtime in Baltimore to Loyola on Friday night. And they lose by three at home this afternoon. Iona up by three. Canisius with the ball. Billy Barron bounces up top to Washington. David Lowry continues to sit as Bowman plays. He's had quite a game, 16 points this afternoon. Now Washington shoved to the floor. The foul by Sean Armand, and that is his second and team foul. Number two against Iona. 
Josiah Heath and Reggie Groves now back in the game, replacing Sosa and Manhurts. Interesting matchup, Barron and Jones. Barron threw the elbow and Jones twice on that last time he had the ball. Now the drive by Washington, kick out Heath, foul line jumper, a little bit short, rebound his brother. Heath follow up is good. Now I don't think that basket's gonna count. He was fouled on no. the first one, missed it, came back, he put it home, but that was only one attempt on the foul, but he'll get on the free throw line for two as Iona has picked up two quick fouls. Well, Jordan, he certainly has given an awful lot of height, Kanish, it's at six feet 10. He transferred from the NAIA school and he has given a lot of strength on the inside. And a free throw makes it a two point lead. Now David Lowry in replacing Taj Ridley. Ridley just got called for that foul. That's two on him, two on Armand, two on Ridley, two on Lowry, two on Momo. And one more free throw for Heath, trying to cut Iona's lead to one with 15-29 left. Must say, Ridley was congratulated by all the coaches when he came out. They're happy with his play. Free throw by Heath, good, made them both. Five point run now by Canisius as they come back and cut it to one point, the deficit. 57-56, Momo Jones will bring up for Iona, one three, one zone for Canisius. Tavon Sledge on the perimeter, one dribble, then lost it to Heath. Kanisha is going for the lead. Here's Washington driving over Momo Jones, and it's a foul on Momo, a blocking foul. Three fouls on Momo Jones. That call could have gone either way, but now Washington will go to the line with a chance to give them the lead. Well, you can see that coming, though, on the steal. They had a two-on-one with Jones back guarding, and he either give him the easy basket or go contend. He contended and got the foul. So three on Momo, plus getting run over in the process for his aching body, and Momo will go to the bench, replaced by A.J. English. Yeah, long way to go, 15-10, and Momo has struggled today, Gary. He's only got two baskets. I presume that, that is if Washington makes the free throw. It is on the way, good. And that's good, no, he goes, uh, Sledge is out of the game, replaced by English. For his turnover, I guess. I talked to him right now, both coaches, Grasso and Kloos talking to Sledge. 57 all, 18 points for Washington, 19, and Iona now down. And Washington out of his mini slump as they've now scored nine straight Kadishas to grab a one point lead. 58 57, five minutes in. Momo Jones against that same 1 3 1 zone. Momo bounce pass to Armand. Armand in the corner, English standing three, good. Right into the game, and English, his first basket, gives Iona a two point lead. And that's the weakness of the 1 3 1 the zone in the corner. Seven three-pointers now for Iona as Barron pushed off on Momo Jones. Got an ooh and an ah for the crowd, but no call. Now the steal by A.J. English. Fast break, will he take it himself? Tried a tough bounce pass in traffic, knocked away, and the ball out of bounds off Kanisha. So A.J. English, a little bit of inexperience there, running into Josiah Heath and tried a bounce pass right into the Kanisha's player, but Iona lucky to get it back. But they got Barron frustrated again, Gary, and he threw another unforced pass. He's thrown several of those. Armand for three. Oh, wow, barely hit oh, that, that was the most unbelievable shot. Yeah, he that could barely hit that, and that's long distance, as long as the other one was in this half, but from the other side of the court. That's about 27 feet, and the catch and shoot a little side angle, too. Why don't I make that shot? I own it by five. Up. Six three-pointers for Sean Armand, 23 points. Billy Barron with it between the circles. Now, that lead didn't last long. 15 on the shot clock. Washington along the left, cross court to Heath. Can't get the shot away. Eight on the clock. Now to Barron with five, guarded by Momo. Staying with him like Lou. Barron crossover dribble, and then Momo fouled him on the floor Ooh. and that is four on Momo Jones and that was you know it was a close call but it was just the heat of the moment and a mental error by Momo playing with three fouls playing with fire and he goes to the bench with four and boy Tim Bruce is uh, you can see smoke in his ears as he yells at the official across the way no Momo really should have backed off at well, that he should point. have sure he should have but, but it was again uh, they call some ticky tack, but if you know they're calling ticky tack fouls, you got to play the game that way. Taking out Iona's best player with 13:45 to go. New shot clock. Barron between the circles, left side. Groves three is good. Groves with an open three. Now when Momo came out in the first half, the Gales managed to offset that thanks to Bowman shooting. 63-61. 
as Deshaun Gomez now in for Momo Jones. David Lowry need him to pick it up, and he turns the ball over instead. As he lost the dribble, here's Groves, pass deflected and stolen in one motion by Sean Armand, who's having a heck of an afternoon. Up we go to Deshaun uh -oh. Gomez, and Gomez took his eye off the ball, and it's an Iona turnover. May have been a little bit ahead of him on the pass, but it's something that Deshaun Gomez should have easily caught. So the Gales, a couple of times now, they've coughed the ball up after steals and missed opportunities. Canisius has it, 13-13 to go, 63-61, Iona. Now English is going to have to, if they stay in the man, he will guard Barron, the freshman against the junior. Tough matchup for English. So Iona's just turned the ball over twice in a matter of seconds. Here's Barron, head of the arc, bounce pass underneath. Lowry made a good play that time, almost stole, but Manhurts lying on the floor, able to get control, and then a Canisius timeout to avoid the Canisius turnover. Well, in this situation, you, Armand takes over the role as a leader. Which Guarded by Gomez. Groves looking inbounds to Barron. Man to man Iona. And English guarding Barron. Bounce pass deep in that right to Washington. Loops outside. Groves thought about a three. Instead will drive. Push off. Push off on Gomez. I could see that call. Groves with the left hand. Pushed him off. Got a couple of feet. Tried the shot. But that's an offensive foul. I hope you can see it. You're the play-by-play -play guy. you got to see it. No, but no, I can officiate it. It's... <laughs> I saw what happened, but no, I recognize Very what good. That's even tougher to do. Iona by two as Gomez will bring up. 1240 <laughs> remaining. A.J. English along the left. Double high post of Armand and Lowry. English keeps between the circles. Now Armand trying to get free against this tough man to man. Trey Bowman with it. Along the right, 15 on the clock. Hands to Armand. Now to Lowry. Lowry one on one on Heath with the left hand. Good. And a foul. David Lowry, double digits, 10, with the soft left hand, and will try to complete the three-point play. What Lowry did that time, Gary, he controlled his dribble. He didn't try to get a, he didn't try to go too fast. He didn't try to get out of control and lose his body. He kept control of his body. He knew he had the defender on his hip. He knows he's got size at six eight. He didn't have to rush to play. That was a beautiful job by Lowry, keeping his body in control and played with himself to make that basket. Josiah Heath called for the foul. Lowry's free throw, good. And he's got 11, and Iona by five again. 66-61 during the 12-minute mark. Barron, nice pass goes to Groves down that left side in front of the Canisius bench. Reggie Groves with it. Iona again, man-to-man. -man. Momo Jones on the bench with four fouls. Gales trying to do it for a while without him. Groves crossover dribble, can't penetrate Bowman. 15 on the clock, and the ball kicked away into the backcourt. Race for it, Bowman diving for it on the floor. Goes out of bounds, and it will be Iona ball. Tremendous hustle by Trey Bowman. And high fives with the coaches. <laughs> coaches love that kind of hustle. Time out. Immediate. Comprise the rest of the lineup for Iona. Gomez looking underneath the basket, looking, looking, finding Lowry underneath one dribble, then puts it up and in. Nice play by David Lowry. And that comes out of a timeout where they lined up single file, a lot of cutters, a lot of pick and roll. Lowry got wide open on the left side. And the Gales get the lead back up to 7, 68, 61. Man-to-man -man defense, Iona English all over. Barron carries on the right side. Up top now to Heath, knocked away by Lowry. Gomez with the steal. Lead pass on the run, Bowman. That time he got the dunk and a foul. Woo! Mr. Bowman saw it on that one, and that one simply proves when he missed it, you don't like it, but when you make it at warp speed like he did then, I mean, that was that was a Tavon Sledge play there, Gary. Bowman just took off like a warp speed, a laser, laid it up and drew the foul. Now he goes for the three-point play. So Trey Bowman stepping up with Mumbo Jones, uh, a little under the weather and in foul trouble. Bowman says, I can step in, get the job done as the Gales get their largest lead of the day. Nine 18 points. for Trey Bowman. A Iona high for Trey Bowman, the free throw up, good. 19. 
and the Gales have opened up a 10-point lead, their largest, 71-61, with 11 and a half minutes remaining in the game. Washington in the backcourt will bring up on Bowman, doing it on both ends of the floor. Washington along the right, hands to Barron. Big position here, I sense, for Canisius. About to hit the 11-minute mark. Barron running in over Ahmad, and then the tough bank off the glass. Good by Barron. I thought he carried the ball, but no call. 71-63, Billy Barron with 10. Here comes Gomez, Gomez to Bowman. Bowman, shuffle pass, English, three, got it. English with back-to-back -back plays in the corner, and the Gales are on a run up by 11. 74-63. New largest lead of the afternoon. Billy Barron working on English again. Puts it behind his back. Pick waiting by Estrella. Barron along the right. Flips Washington. Hesitates. Shoots a three and hits it. And then a timeout by Jim Barron on the Canisius bench. They have only one left with 10.34 to go. Harold Washington with 22 points. His third three-pointer. Iona by... and disrupting the inside game of Canisius. And here we go again, Gales have the ball. Canisius nine three-pointers, Iona now with 11. Gales lead by eight after being down by two at the half. About to hit the midway point of the second half as Trey Bowman continues to play between the circles. Hands to David Lowry, one-on-one -on -one move. Lowry penetrates, kickoff, arm on three is no good, high rebound, and taken off by Manhurts for Canisius. Uh, Manhurts is gobbling up rebounds. Now great pass, Barron goes to Sosa. Sosa's bounce pass underneath Asprilla, the righty hook is good, and Canisius is asked, added with five in a row. 74-68, here's Gomez for three, no good for Iona, a little bit three-point happy now. Don't want Gomez taking that one, and here's Barron with Iona's lead at six, looping past Sosa. Angle to Washington, penetrates for the glass, missed it, no good, tip up, wouldn't go. Rebound taken back by Sosa, attacks Lowry, blocked by Lowry. Taken off by Gomez, fast break Iona. English wants the ball, English gets the ball, English shoots the ball, but it's in and out. Gomez got the rebound, so we start all over again. Other corner, Armand, three, good. Oh man, great move by the Gales, again using their quickness. They were a step ahead of Canisius on that play all the way, as the Gales knocked down another three. Armand, wide open, lost corner. Are they entertaining or Ooh. what? Oh, it's great basketball. Really For is. Iona now, that is their 11th three-pointer. 12th three-pointer off the glass. Barron couldn't answer. Rebound tipped around. Washington gets it back. Attacks the basket. It was blocked. Lead pass. Bowman, head of the field. Bowman dunks it home. The tomahawk that time by Bowman on the Gales getting it done. I'll tell you, Lowry down the other end made two big defensive plays to set that up as the Gales again build an 11-point lead. 21 for Trey Bowman, career high with 8.35 to go. Barron, another one of those high rainbow passes. Sosa off the run, three will be short. Rebound, knocked out of bounds. It's gonna be off Canisius. Iona gets it back. Little pressure on Canisius now because they've gotta make some defensive stops. Gales have done that, but Canisius has not been able to stop the Gales offense here in the second half. Sean Armand, seven three-pointers, 26 points. Trey Bowman, 21 points. And Iona doing all this without the lead, third leading scorer in the country, Momo Jones, on the bench with four fouls as Lowry penetrates, and he is fouled. And for Canisius, team foul number six, so no free throws for Iona. If they just see Lowry step up his game here in the second half, Gary, on the offensive end. You know, Momo, I'm not saying you should have Momo Jones out there, but Lowry understands He's got to be more active, get more things done offensively with Jones out. Gomez will inbound for Iona after the non-shooting foul. Loops all the way out to Trey Bowman. And Bowman now goes to Gomez. Now to David Lowry. Lowry, head of the arc, playing way away from the basket. Goes to Gomez, quick step, kick out. Armand for his eighth three-pointer. Just automatic, different spot, wing, corner. That time, top of the circle. What a show by Armand. 29 for Armand and Iona up by 14. Washington along the left and gets fouled by an aggressive Sean Armand, who just picked up his third foul. Brings us to another timeout. Gales with showtime here in the second half. Lead it 82 68.
down. He's got 10 of 16 overall. Don't forget he's got four rebounds, three assists, and only one turnover for the game. And Iona leads by 14, still 7.45 to play, as Sosa will work on Trey Bowman, who's been the other big star for Iona this afternoon. Now Washington carries back of the arc, goes to Barron, pawed out there by English, and Barron with a tough bank, no good. Rebound taken off by David Lowry. Bad pass, but recovered by English. Tips it ahead to himself, takes it himself, no good. Rebound, out of bounds, and it will belong to Iona. Yeah, it couldn't handle the ball, Canisius. Right now, they are ready. Laps, they're falling back, and they seem a little shell-shocked, really, by what Iona's doing to them on the offensive end. They're not contesting like they should aggressively. They're back on the heels right now. How about this advertisement? Iona's got some recruits in the building, and what a show they're watching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd want to sign up. Put me down. I'm a little okay. I missed up my eligibility. Well, you only want to sign up if you're tremendously athletic yeah, and well, leap I'm and not. run. <laughs> if you're a little bit fat and chubby, you would go, well, I got I that <laughs> problem. I'm just a little slow and old, that's all. <laughs> That, no. <laughs> and this might intimidate you in a, in a way. <laughs> 25 seconds on the shot clock as Iona inbounds to Deshaun Gomez just inside the midcourt line. Man a man for Sienna, for Canisius. And it is David Lowry working one on one at the free throw line. Penetrates and it's knocked out of bounds. And it will still be, well, Canisius' ball with 7 7 left to play. Yeah, Jordan Heath that time off balance as he tried to guard Lowry. And Lowry did a crossover move, and Jordan Heath went one way, and Lowry went the other way and drew the foul. Third foul on Heath. David Lowry will get to the free throw line for Iona. Lowry playing better than he has in a while. He's got 13 points, gets two free throws for David Lowry. He is one of one this afternoon, and on the season, 76%. Gales have scored the last eight points in this game as Lowry, with a miss, doesn't do that too often for the foul line. Gets a pat on the back from uh, Amon and says, go make number two. One more for David Lowry. Lowry with the right hand barely hit the rim and, and then it's no good. Foul. And then it got a foul call. Yeah, frustration. And he, he, he threw that ball very like haphazardly. Like his heart wasn't in it and it came up short. And then he gets called for his third foul. And that is seven fouls against Iona. So we're going to walk the length of the floor and shoot a one and one. Iona leading by 14, 7 oh, 7 to go. Well, again, you know, he's been gone from basketball for a long time competitively, and so he's going to have moments like that, David Lowry. He's going to show you some outstanding moments and then some head-scratching moments. Isaac Soso, one and one on the other end, and that one in and out, and Lowry got the rebound. So there, we're all even. <laughs> right. Seven minutes on the nose now to play. Still a 14-point Iona lead as Gomez will bring up. Gomez hands to Sean Armand. Now to A.J. English, back of the arc. Armand is only one three-pointer away from his career high of 32 points. Gomez dribbling, goes to English, now driving the lane with the left hand off the glass. Oh, so pretty by A.J. English, who knocked over Sosa, but that was after the play, and English with his third field goal, eight points. Gale's patient on the weave that time, it ran the defender into a pick, and English shows he can ambidextrous by putting it up with the left hand. Nice patience by the Gales. Good finish by English. 84-68, now Grove to rather Washington, high off the glass, beating Gomez, and Washington having a great game, 24, but his ball club down by 14, in danger of losing their second the straight fourth. game and on the, the southern tour of New York, Albany, mid-New York, and then Iona here this afternoon. We had another foul against Iona, and it's Sean Armand with an illegal pick, and that's four on Armand. So yeah, four on Momo and four on Armand with 6.05 to go. And you're going to see Momo Jones come back in. As we said, we'd probably see him with five or six minutes to go. They're going to give Armand a rest. What Tim Cruz wants to do is have one or the other on the floor. So he's going to pull Armand out when he puts Jones in. And Armand has played all the way here in the second half. A good decision at that point. So 14-point lead, just over six minutes to play. And Momo Jones with only five points well below his third leading average in the country of 22.9. A lot of that's foul difficulty, some being banged up. Washington rolls under Manhurts, put it up over Gomez, and Manhurts makes it a 12-point game. That was a mismatch. Manhurts was too big for Gomez. Gomez was behind him, did not front him, let Manhurts got right next to the basket for an easy do. Now the Gales can't take the foot off the pedal here. 12-point lead, five and a half minutes remaining, and we saw how quickly Iona scored 13 at Marist in just about two minutes on Thursday. Gomez bounce pass left, Lowry, middle, English, Gomez now in the corner, Momo shoots a three, too long, rebound, we had a foul over the back, it'll be called against Canisius. 
It'll be Sosa's foul and put Iona to the line for a one and one. And it'll be Bowman getting there again, I believe. Well, Lowry pointed out the official Casey missed it. He got hit from behind and the official picked up on it. So the Gales, with Lowry being a big factor inside, Gary, offensively and defensively on the glass. It's Lowry on the line, one and one. Missed his last shot. That one is short yep. again. Yep. David Lowry not really having enough oomph on those free throws. And now they come down and he scores on the looping pass. And Iona's lead down to 10. Yeah, they fell asleep on that play, the Gales. Nobody back. He came all alone. The big guy, you can't let the big guy run unimpeded down the floor like that. This scares me a little bit. The yeah. way Iona thought that it was all showtime. And it's not. Here's English down court beating Heath. Missed the lay-in. And the rebound taken off by Heath. Sosa, Washington over Gomez. The bank, it's an eight-point game and a timeout by Tim Kloose on the bench just like that. Canisius right back in it, down by only eight with nearly five minutes to play. Washington with 26. One left, Bowman will inbound for Iona, now to Gomez in the backcourt. Gomez, Momo Jones playing the two guard right now. Gomez not across the midcourt line yet, now he is with the pass just in time to Momo Jones. Gale's gotta get back at it. 20 on the shot clock, 440 left, lead down to eight. And again, Iona just standing around on offense, English, goes to Lowry along the right. Lowry probably had blood on his uniform, he's wearing number 24 now. Instead of number 13, five on the clock. Gomez has to settle for a three, and it's a rainbow three, getting Iona out of a big jam. And he has not been a good three-point shooter. Boy, was that big. Lead at 11, three-pointer by Sosa. Good, deep on the right side to cut it back down to eight. Yeah, that's too quick. Iona gave that one up too quickly. Nearing the four-minute mark now, the lead at eight, 87-79. Double-teamed along the right English. Timeout to avoid the turnover. And again, Iona. Flustered. It was a big three with uh, Gomez hitting it as the shot clock was about to expand. You got 27 seconds left on the shot clock, but you don't want to wait under 10 seconds to start running your offense, I don't think. Now Iona inbounds Momo Jones. Momo just bounces the ball to Sean Armand. Armand with a 29-point afternoon so far. Gales need more points. Armand with 13 on the clock. Momo, Armand, three from the right angle. Good! Oh, another huge one. Yeah, and again with a defender in his face. That is nine three-pointers for Armand, tying his career high of 32 points. The career high for threes, it was 11 at the Garden. 90 to 79, three-point attempt by Barron. Answers right back. Well, these clubs are dynamite shooting the ball. I mean, at that time that they had a defender in on top of Barron, but he just knocked it down easily. 90 to 82, 310 to go. Lowry dumps it back now to Armand along the right sideline, bounces in the middle to Gomez. Nearing the three minute mark, will be there now. 13 on the shot clock, Iona by eight, Armand Momo. Gomez along the right, Armand for three. It is no good, didn't even hit the rim. It was wide to the right. Manhurst got the rebound. Here's Washington. They're down by eight, attacking Lowry. Missed it, and a big rebound taken off by Armand for Iona. And that's a big miss, too. 240 left, eight-point lead. Gomez shovel pass Armand. Flips to Momo, and again, Iona will play a little bit of clock here. 90 to 82. 230 to go, 20 to shoot. Momo inside the midcourt line, goes back to Gomez. 15 on the clock, Gomez now starts to attack the lane, corner, Bowman, three, good. Wide open, Gales with a good patience, and each possession, Kanishas changes the defense. Bomo with, uh, Bowman with 24, and Iona leads by 11, about to hit the two minute mark, 93-82, Barron whips Heath, three pointer by the 6'10 player, no good. Rebound tapped outside to him, as Barron gets it back, right angle, three, good. And the final timeout by Jim Barron on the bench as Billy Barron makes it an eight-point game again as these teams are shooting. And uh, here's what I bet, too. I've got I to gotta find a <laughs> Mac work. The 
shots. In the second half, the players have made tougher shots. Gale still have a way to go to take care of this one. Armand on the inbounds pass goes backwards to Gomez. Minute 50 to go in the game, eight point Iona lead. And they haven't even started fouling Momo Jones yet, which is how Iona gets a lot of points in the final minute. Gomez now dribbling with the left hand, stops on a dime, dumps it back to Momo. 15 on the shot clock, minute 32 to go in the game. Iona going for their fifth consecutive win. Now 10 on the clock, Gomez with a minute 27, bounce pass Ridley, lost it, they die for it. Momo saves it with a great effort, and what was the call? Timeout by Iona, and I guess they had possession somehow momentarily. Billy Barron asking the official Jeff Anderson, how can Iona call timeout when nobody really had the ball? That Iona will have the alternate arrow in their favor. Ah, uh, you're an optimist. Okay, let's, if they make a three-point shot here, though, you may want to reconsider it. Well, here is Barron bringing up against Momo Jones. Now Ridley jumped in. Barron, long three on the way. Back rim, no good. Rebound tipped outside. Sosa gets it back. Almost traveled into the backcourt, but they rule the ball deflected. Now Groves in the corner. Washington for three. Halfway down and out. And Iona with a big break there and a big rebound by Ridley. And now they start the Momo Jones fouling game. Well, he's not the guy to foul, shooting about 90% for the free throw line this year. We're the top free throw shooters. He is 90%. He's a top 10 free throw shooter in the country. And we got. Jones first trip to the line this afternoon 90% on the season he'll get a one and one for Iona it is no good rebound however taken back by Momo Jones it deflected back to Momo so just as well the missed free throw but Iona killing more clock waiting another foul English not fouled yet by Barron able to get it to Momo Jones and finally he is held tight by Washington as Iona able to kill clock down to 43 seconds, yeah. and now Momo will get two on the double bonus. What's that all about? They just wasted 15 seconds off the missed free throw. Canisius, they should have fouled a lot quicker. So Canisius about to drop their second straight. Iona about to win their fifth in a row. Free throw up by Momo, good. Only his sixth point of the afternoon. Well, as we said early in the broadcast, he had light workouts all week, and you can see he's not 100% today by any means. Pretty much of a short turnaround Thursday to Sunday afternoon to play, and he was banged up to begin with. Two free throws by Momo, makes it a 10-point game with 43 seconds to go. And Canisius just about out of options here as Billy Barron will bring up, but no particular hurry. Now he turns on the speed, will drive on Ridley, and scores off the glass. 20 for Barron, a double-double for Barron. He has also on the day 20 points and 10 assists. He really they get 11 assists. Well, you can tell he plays like a coach's son. <laughs> this old man's got to be proud of the way he's played today in terms of uh, handling the ball, shooting. He's had 11 assists, four turnovers. He's got 20 points. He's 8 of 15 from the field. He just committed his second foul in English to the line for two. A.J. trying to get to double digits. He's got eight. Free throw by English. No good. Off the rim. So the Gales, for being a good free throw shooting team down the stretch here, have not been that today. Not today at all. Uh, 11 uh, for 17 yep. on the day for Iona. Came in about 80%. English in and out on both. Shows the team maybe a little bit tired when you start missing free throws. Now it's still an eight point game. 30 seconds remaining. The drive by Washington outside Sosa. Three ball, no good. In and out. Manhurts gets the rebound. Outside to Barron. 20 in the game. Blocked by English. Taken off by Ridley. Two on one. AJ English lays it in with the left hand. That should do it. That's game over. AJ English with 10. And Iona leads by 10 with 14 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. Reggie Groves on the left will take one final three. No good. Rebound batted outside. English battling for it along with Barron. Barron shot blocked out of bounds with 0.5 seconds remaining. And it will be Sienna Ball down by 10 at 0.5 seconds. That's Kenesha's ball. I'll put back you up a game or two. <laughs> And they throw it in, and the game is over. I know, for some reason, I had said Sienna about four times today. You would, you would, you would get that kind of game with Sienna. Well, 